M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. I had a question. How do I change the mode on my UVK5? So we're talking about AM, FM, USB, that kind of thing. And in some situations, CW. Well, I'm going to show you. On the far left is the original UVK5. And you'll notice straight away there's no backlight unless I press the button. And this one's still in... In, in it has a Japanese talking voice. In this radio, by default, it is FM, but you can enable the AM function, but it's not great because it hasn't had the modification. So this is the original radio. So if you go to menu 48, so you go menu, you can go up and down until you get to 48. You can see AM, which is turned off. So we go menu. Then go up and down, and you can turn it on, okay, menu. You exit, and you now try type in, when you're in VFO mode, by pressing the F, we're in channel mode at the moment, F, then hold down 3, go into VFO, and you can type in an AM frequency. Okay, and it's showing AM on the screen. So that's the answer, because there are people that have decided they never want to change the firmware on their radio. They want to keep it original. They are missing out massively, but that's how you do it. So it's menu 48 original. If we move over to the middle one, which is the, if I just turn this off and on, IJV mod. Now this is the one that will do CW. Got so many radios here. Let's turn that one down. So this is actually the same as the UVK6, although they're all the same. But it's got that metal bezel, which it's pretty much you, that's how you can tell you've got a K6. This is a K5, really. But anyway, this one is running the IJV modification. Very easy to install. Loads and lots and lots of functions. This one isn't the one with all the spectrum. It's more to do with AGC. CWTX. I can't remember if I've still got it set up, but watch this. There's someone's transmitting there. Let me get it on a better test frequency. No, I think we'll save that, but I have made a video setting that up completely on the IJV. So we're talking about changing modes. So let's just go menu and look at the mode at the moment. If we go up and down, go to menu number three. Then you go menu again, and you can start changing the mode. Look, FM, CW, DSB, AM, FM. So that's what you get when you download the IJV modification. Plus, you get massive menu list. There is a secret menu. If you turn it off, hold down the PTT and the button underneath, and you get turn it on, you get the secret menu. Okay. So that's how you change the power using the IJV mod. On the, this is the Exuma modification. You go menu 13, up and down, or just type 13. That's how you can do it. So it's menu 12. See the way it says 12.60? Now it's quite hard to see. That's 60 menus. When you go into the secret menu by doing the PTT and the one underneath, you get more menus, more choices. So if we go to menu 13 by going down, look, we've got FM, let's press menu, AM, USB, FM, see, there you go. So it's quite a question to say, um, how do you change mode? The thing about these radios, you really, having just one isn't, isn't going to, you know, give you the maximum fun. You need, I would say, at least three of these, and don't forget... You can buy these for about £14, so it's not going to break the bank. But if you've got one with original firmware, one with IJV, one with Exuma, which seems to be in the top five firmwares, there are other firmwares. There's one out there called One of Eleven. Uh, one of the nice things about the IJV is you can get the single screen. So look at that. If I go F, A, B, but single screen, that's probably... I don't think you can do that, but then with the... Exuma, I haven't done it for a while, got the scope, the spectrum, so you've got F5. You start to get the spectrum, and obviously that has an appeal. You can move the squelch line 
up and down if I remember like let's go down hold down the F you're moving the squelch down and then you'll start to hear that's five we go O two seven dot with the star if I'm right there you are menu should yeah 27 megs and then if you want FM AM USB and if, if the conditions are good you will hear you know you will hear sideband so do I have a preference no because I like the way this does the the CW let me just see if I can dig out the one that I did get ready for CW I will say with Exuma you do need to put in all the door all the noughts <laughs> so when you're typing frequency go naught one four four then then we'll go o four five then there's more zeros after it before it goes in there you are and we ask that we are in cw let's press that button a minute oh. okay press this button under the ptt if you look here it's actually going to do my call sign M0FXB. So let me just quickly show you the settings, then we'll end the video. Press the PTT to exit. So there is a secret menu on this. To get that, you're going to turn it off. This button here and the PTT, so the directly under the PTT, it's off. Push them both, turn on, and it will say release keys. Once you've done that, you can start putting in the menu. So go to menu number three. Just make sure you're in CW, just go up and down. Choose CW, press menu, see that, CW, menu, exit, you probably don't even have to exit, so you go menu, the next one is 39, 39, you want L, L, M, O, N, just turned on, to change it, menu, then you go down and up, menu is on, then in this position, you can actually just go to the next menu, which is 60 and 59. So we'll go 59. This is where you add your call sign. It's probably the hardest bit. You press menu and you start to go up and down and change the letters. And when you're happy with the letter you've got, you press menu as an enter. Up and down, choosing. Now you can hold your finger on the up and down arrow. It's a lot faster. Once you've got it, and then make sure you do a zero, if you know, a number zero. Uh, press, keep pressing enter, and then when you've got your call sign in, then just keep pressing the M until it gets to the end. And it goes in, it's once you've got back to the side menu. Exit. Like so. Now, you do have to program the side button as well. Menu 60 is the side button. So you've got, you go up and down, you've got menu 60, press enter with the M, and then you've got some choices. You want it to say CW Core CQ, okay? I know they've made some updates on this, but anyway, choose CW Core CQ, press menu, then exit. Then go into the frequency that's suitable for CW transmit. And once you've got that, you can type in, to go into VFO mode, you just press F, hold down three. See if it would let me do that in single mode. Doesn't seem to let me go into memory mode, but so we're in VFO mode, and then you just press that button. And it starts to do it. And you get the red LED as well. And then to end it, just press exit. Thanks for watching my channel. This one was about changing modes. Bye for now, 7-3.